Keep me a shooter, but ain't talking camera. These bitches so thirsty, gon' handle my family. Ballin' hard like I play for Indiana. I think that's the reason these niggas can't stand us. They think I'm an outlaw and rock the bandana. Man, whole lot of Jews, but I ain't YouTube, we rolling back again to another video, but we doing a tutorial on wavelength, taper on the side and back, you know, a dark wavelength cut, but in this video, it's going to be a little different, it's my first ever done video, and I'm going to start doing all my videos like this, I'm only going to be using two clippers in this video, and I'm about to show y'all everything I'm about to use in this video, so the first thing I'm going to do is use my wall designers, my Andy Slim lines. The two guard for the wall designers, the one guard for the wall designers, a starlight comb, the barber magic pencil, a business card, my business card by the way, <laughs> and hair fibers. So let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, as you can see, his hair is. It is like two, two and a half weeks in. No haircut. So we gotta get them together, you know what I'm saying? The good clean canvas we can work on, you know, it's washed and let's go on hop into it right quick. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the wall designers. We got them closed. This is closed. And we going with the grain. So we going the way the hair grows with it. And we're gonna do this around the whole head. Make it even as possible. It's just, just this, doing this. That's the first step you wanna do is knock the hair down, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna knock it down with these. That's what I'm using. Never before done. All right, we're doing the taper. We got it all the way open. You see that? And we're gonna go up. We're not gonna go up too high, we're just gonna go up. Just stay right, right where we at, putting that first guideline in there. Make sure that guideline is straight. That's why I'm keep going over. I want that guideline to be perfect so the taper can come out cool. Now I got it closed. I'm staying low with it. I'm staying low and it's all the way closed. Stay low, don't go up too high. Don't go up, stay low. Stay low, get that ball line out of there. Get that, all that, you know what I'm saying? Make sure it's low. Next, we got this. The one guard, as you can see, we gonna go up. We getting that line out of there that we put inside there. Just going up with it, just flicking up. We got the comb. This is your best friend. Keep this calm in your hand. This is your best friend. I'm telling you. You make sure you see everything, the way hair growing and everything with this comb. You got to guard off, open it up, and we're going to flick. We're going to flick going back over what we just did at the bottom. We stand low with it because we're going back over everything. We're just flicking out. Use your corners. I used my corners when I did that. Use that corner. Putting that guard back on there. This time open it and flick up. This was you getting the bulk out when you're doing this. You know what I'm saying? Open it all the way up and just flick up. Don't go up too high. You're just using your corners and just flicking up. Getting that bulk out. You know what I'm saying? Because you want this taper to look good. You want the whole taper to look decent. You want all you want the face to just flourish. So keep playing with it. You know what I'm saying? Keep going back over your work. Keep playing with it. Get that taper. It's going to take some work, but you got to keep doing it. Getting that taper together. It's going to, you know what I'm saying? Just keep going. Just keep going. Go over little spots. Anything you see, just keep going. Now we got these. We're going to hit it light. Like I said, we ain't pressing it too much. We just hitting it. These work on good on kids too. I love these for kids because they don't hurt at all. They soft. They get you clean. You know what I'm saying? They get you crispy. Go around the ear. Put the ear back and just touch it. You know what I'm saying? It's all we doing. It's all, it's all easy. Just hitting it. <laughs> this is easy work. Now, we got a candy spray. I don't have any of this with me. I was at the shop. This is one of my sponsors. It's called Candy's Edge of Spray. They, sh they uh, sent me like a big box of it. Told me to use it in my videos. Hey, cool, smell good. I'm gonna bring some of that home too next time. I didn't bring it. Sorry about that. I apologize. All right. Now, the line up. We're using these. We just touch it. Start in the middle and just work your way to the right. Just tap it. Tap it. Are we still on this side? Before? Curve it and just touch it. Like, don't press too hard. You ain't got to press too hard. Just touch it. You see, as I'm going over, 
over again because I wanted to make sure that line is crispy and straight as possible. And another thing is, like I said, with these clippers, they don't hurt at all. So, you know what I'm saying? You good with, they good with kids and everything. So, like, you can keep going over the same spot once, over and over. And you see, he's light skinned. Most light skinned people, they turn red. But, you know what I'm saying? You can go over with these and no scars, no redness, no nothing. All right, now you're gonna hit up the taper. You got these. So, start off ball. You wanna put your first line inside there, that first ball line in. Let's get a bit better view. Okay, we're gonna put that ball line inside there. That's it, we're gonna stay right there. All we're gonna do, got the ball line. All got these, all the way open, flick up. And what we're doing now is we're gonna put that second line inside there. Just flick up around the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? You see that second line in there. Take these, close them, stay low. Flick out where we had that ball line at. We're just flicking out. But we had the ball line, that's it. We're not gonna go up too high with that other line at. We're gonna keep that alone. We're just gonna stay right here. Stay right here, right where we at. Next, take these, put the guard back on there. Close them. So open them, they open my fault. And we're gonna go up. Keep that cone with you, like I said. Go up, use the corners, use that corner. That's what we're using. And we're gonna flick up. Flick up. All right, combs never leave your hand. Flick up. Flick up. Okay, so I'm giving y'all a one-on-one -on -one game. Like, who else doing this? <laughs> All right. Up. 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 Just keep doing it. Comb it. Comb it. Make sure you're getting everything out. All right. Take the guard off. Now go over that little light spot we see. Like I said, flick up. Put the guard back on there. And just play with it. You know what I'm saying? Just get that little line out. Just play with it. Get everything together. That's what we doing. All right. Now we got this. Two guard. The big boy. Open and just flick up. This is getting the bulk out. This is getting that extra bulk out because we're going up higher where it's darker. We just keep still playing with it. Flick up, flick up, easy. Keep doing it, you know what I'm saying? Just keep going, keep flicking up. You want that, and you keep going until everything starts to blend in. Barber Magic Pencil can go straight across, go down. Like I said, keep your pencil sharp too. You want to keep your pencil sharp because that sharp pencil make it look natural. We got this. Now look, don't 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 be doing all this squeezing just lightly, lightly do it. You want it to look natural as possible. Use that card, keep that card straight. You just want to hit the end of the card. That's all you want to do. You barely don't even want to hit the skin. You want to hit like the edge of the card because everything else is gonna hit the skin that's under it. That's all we doing. Taking these again, and we're gonna touch it up now. We touching up where we hit them fibers at, and we touching up where we put the pencil at. Just touch it. The clip is off now. Open up, stand low, close. Oh, we got them open, we got them open. We stand low. Now we close them. Going low, stand low where it's balled at. We try to get that taper to blend in with the beard. We got the one back on there, open it. Now stay at the bottom. Maybe going taking it from the bottom, maybe going up a little higher. But you're trying to blend everything. You want the beard to blend in with that tape. Comb, use that comb, go up, hit it. Now on this side, what we did to that side, we gotta do to this side. Comb still in hand, tape it, and you just go straight across. Now see, that comb still in your hand. Don't let that comb leave your hand. Keep it in there. Straight. Easy. So I think I was talking to somebody, but you know, you get the picture. The comb is still in your hand. Like I said, the comb never in your hand. Just keep going. Clean it off. Sometimes you get hair stuck all in between these because you know what I'm saying? You be using them a lot. So I just do like this, clip them, get them hair, the little hairs off, and go right back at it. Straight across. And as you can see, we got here a light spot. So what we're doing is we're just gonna touch it. 
keep it looking natural as possible. We're not gonna go back in to where it was at. We're just gonna stay right there where it's at right there. And hit it, hit them corners. Hit that. Going back over. Easy. Hit them corners again. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is it's, it's easy. It's fun too after doing it's fun doing this, this way because I can give y'all the hands on experience. Like I said, make sure that pencil is sharpened and go straight. Don't press too hard. You know what I'm saying? Because you want it to look natural as possible. All right. Now, like I said, with the business card and the fibers, do the same thing. Don't hit hit the hair, hit the car, the end of the car. Because that's what's going to get you that natural looking look. Like, you don't want it. Like I said, don't be doing all this squeezing. Just tap it. Back to this. Ball in. Oh, my hand turned out. It's habit. You hit that edge. This is the first step. It's called the ball line. Hit that edge. Wipe the clippers off if you got to. Hit that edge. Now we're gonna take the guard off. Hit it with these. Open. Go up. Putting that second line inside there. Go up. Easy. All the way open. You see that? Close. Stay low. Get that little ball line out. Now we're getting the ball line out. We're flicking up. We're not even going up too high. We're just flicking up. You got this on it. Open. Oh, we close. Close my fault. We're going to go up. Flick up. Close. Flick up. Getting that line out. Getting the second line out. That's what we're doing. Go ahead, take it off. Stay lower to make sure if you're trying to clean up everything. Put it back on there. Go up. At this time, we got to open because we're going up a little higher. So we're going to have it open. Flick up. Comb it. Keep that comb in your hand. Pick up. Got two good on there. Like I said, this is the bulk. All the way open. Flick up. Use some, use some corners too to flick up. Comb it. Keep that comb in your hand. Just comb it. Flick up. Comb it. Same thing. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. Just that side we're doing on this side. Easy. Take guard off. Put this one back on, open it. And what we're doing now is called the cleanup. We're just cleaning up everything, making sure the whole fade transition. As long as you don't go up too high, you should be safe with that. You know what I'm saying? Comb still in your hand. We're doing beer. Comb it down. And you want to start around like this. You can start from there to there, but I like to start at the bottom, work my way up. So I can get that good, nice round, rounded beard. Comb it, keep it, keep that comb in your hand. All right, you got this now. Flick up, flick up. So all we doing, flicking up. Easy. And that's like taper right there. Easy work. I'm, I'm gonna be doing more of these videos hands on because I want y'all to like to do like everything, not cut hair like me, but to get in the habit of keeping your comb in your hand and the rhythm of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all keep doing this, y'all be like, oh, okay, bet. Then y'all get to hang up easy by easy. And then hit me up. Let me know what kind of clippers y'all want me to use too. All right, peace out, YouTube. Thanks for watching.